What is a breast abscess? Everything you need to know. An abscess is formed by an accumulation of pus in the body as the cause of an infection. The condition often occurs in lactating females, making it important for them to visit a doctor and get their condition treated effectively. The situation can reoccur, which makes the treatment even more important. Causes An abscess develops in the breast when an infection affects it. The infection may also be the result of the breast tissues being inflamed. Furthermore, it can affect both lactating and non-lactating women, with slight differences. An untreated infection is what causes a breast abscess in lactating women. The infections are caused by bacteria that are present on the skin or come from the baby's mouth. The bacteria usually comes in through a cut in the skin, the milk ducts, or cracked nipples. Breastfeeding is believed to account for 10 to 33% of all postpartum breast infections. Similarly, breast abscesses in non-lactating women are also caused by bacterial infections. This kind is known as subareolar breast abscess. Bacteria can make their way into the breasts through cuts in the skin, cracked nipples, or nipple piercings. Males can also develop subareolar breast abscesses. Signs and Symptoms The typical symptoms you are likely to find with breast abscesses include 1. Redness in the affected area 2. Pain 3. Warm skin 4. Swelling in the infected area 5. Nipple drainage 6. Discharge from a different part of the breast An active infection may also bring fever and chills. It will also result in fatigue. A fever means that you should consult a doctor. If you're already on an antibiotics course and don't feel better within two days, you must seek medical help. Letting the infection spread and become more serious can cause several problems. Diagnosis The symptoms of a breast abscess are quite similar to that of a regular infection, which makes diagnosis tricky. The diagnosis is furthered after a physical examination during which a doctor may also inquire about medical history and ask if you've suffered from an abscess before. To get a concrete idea of the abscess, the doctor can conduct an ultrasound of the breasts. Further tests may also be conducted using a needle aspiration to gather samples. These tests also help to rule out the presence of benign cysts in the breasts. Furthermore, cancer can also be ruled out through these tests. Treatment Treating a breast abscess typically revolves around draining the pus from the breasts. The doctor will first apply a local... Afterward, the pus can be drained by making a small incision in the pus-filled region. The other option involves draining the pus with a needle. While this treatment is less invasive, the needle may be injected multiple times before all the pus is removed. Both treatment options let you get back home the same day. However, 53% of people are believed to be affected by a breast abscess again after recovery. Staying healthy after the treatment is highly important. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.